So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm going to talk about how you can create that kind of rigid body animation using the blender and in this step by step tutorial i'm going to talk about each and every single step which is i have used for creating this uh, animation basically so make sure you watch this tutorial till end and if you want the same kinds of tutorials in the future from my channel also so make sure let me know in the comment box i'll definitely make the tutorials on those topics basically so now let's Start a tutorial so first one i'm gonna start off with a fresh scene basically so let's start it so all right guys now here you can see we have a very fresh scene here now what i'm gonna do basically here you can see there is no animation here now first of all what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add one uv sphere into our scene and i'm just gonna scale it little bit something like that i think that much scale is look nice to me and i'm just gonna apply the scale first of all and make sure whenever you scale any object please apply the scale because especially when you are using a simulation things when you are using a modifier things so that will very help you to get a uh, like desirable result if you not apply the scale so maybe you will get some uh, like unrealistic results which is you don't want basically sometime okay so first of all i'm just gonna do right click and do shade smooth yeah look nice to me now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna a little bit scale up, down yeah look nice and I can keep it like on this surface also. There is no issue. Yeah. Now I'll just add one array modifier into this. And I'm just going to duplicate like four times. Yeah. And I'm just going to duplicate my modifier. And that time I'm just going to duplicate into the Y axis. 1.1. And again I'm just going to duplicate my modifier. And that time I'm just going to do 1.1 into my Z axis. So now here you can see we have a good amount of uh, mesh here. Now I'm just going to do right click and do convert to mesh. Now here you can see all the modifier going to collapse with at once basically. And then I'm just going to edit mode of this uh, whole stack. And I'll just press the A for select all the object. Then I'm just going to press the P. And I'll just do separate by loose parts. And then I'm just going to exit from the edit mode. I'll just do right click and do set origin to geometry. Now here you can see all shapes have their own center point basically. Yeah. So now here you can see our first step is like done. It is look nice to me. Now what I'm going to do basically. First of all I'm just going to add the rigid body into our uh, plane basically so for that i'm just gonna add a rigid body and i'll just change the active as a passive and will change also is as a mesh object yeah apart from that we don't need to change anything from the this uh background part so now what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna select one of my sphere and here i'm just gonna add the rigid body and keep it as a active all right so now uh, we'll just change the uh, collusion shape as a sphere and uh, same thing apart from that we don't need to change anything until we not feel too like a change then what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna select all those uh, spheres and then i'm just gonna select the last one where we had the rigid body simulations then I'm just going to my object, desert body, and I'm just going to do copy from the object. Now, what is does exactly here? Basically, uh, whatever settings we have add into one sphere, it is going to copy and paste to all those spheres at once, basically. All right. So now here you can see if I'm just going to play the animation, we have uh, that kind of desert body simulation, which will look nice, by the way. That's great. All right. Now, here is the fun part here we have one uh, like a uh, cube which is i have a scale a little bit from the front side and it is look like a little bit arrow basically and that's so cool so here i'm just going to add a rigid body and i'll just change the type as a passive and i'll just click the animate and i'm just going to add a little bit animation into this so for that what i'm going to do i'm just going to press the i i'll just click the location then i'm just going to my 30th frame and i'm just going to move it here to here and then again i will press the location now here you can see if i'm just gonna press the play button so now here you can see this is look awesome by the way so what we have to do basically first of all we have to match this uh, shape little bit here yeah 
now it look nice now here you can see if i'm just gonna play the animation it's gonna like demolish the whole uh what we can say stack of the spheres very nicely and which is look nice by the way and that's look nice and one more thing we can do it here basically what we can do we can just uh, keep it here and i'll just press the i location now here you can see that look awesome So you can see guys that's how you can create that kind of cool rigid body basic simulation which is look awesome by the way and now you can just add the colors into your spheres and you can add the colors into your background and you will get some cool and very satisfying animation after that all right so i hope guys you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today and if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply your comment and if you want more videos same like this so please let me know in the comment box i'll make the these kinds of very quick and very understanding tutorials for all of you guys and uh, make sure you just subscribe my channel so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something from this video please hit the like button and the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys and love you all